live from New York. <laughs> it's Eleni's ice cream featuring Christian. Yay, we are in her apartment. Okay, today we are going to be eating Steve's ice cream. It's small batch bourbon vanilla and it's made with grass grazed milk because down with the industrial dairy um, industry. Also, this is made in Texas and we're both from Texas. Are you like from from Texas? Originally Seattle, but oh, most of my but life But we Texas. like identify with being in Texas <laughs> despite not neither of us being Texas um, residents anymore. Anyway, um, let's read about the flavor text. It says, is this art? We treat every part like a blank canvas upon which we create globally inspired unexpected flavors that truly stimulate the senses. Um, we that. say this is art. You might call it, or we might call it a masterpiece, but is it? And our mission to give vanilla its attitude back brought us here. Vanilla bean ice cream dialed up with small batch Kentucky bourbon to get your taste buds buzzing. All right, let's, oh, and it's kosher dairy, but neither of us are Jewish, but I mean, that's good. Okay, so first, <laughs> you know it's a quality thing because there's a seal, and it also says Steve's. Steve's! Okay, now we're going to eat this ice cream. Wow, it looks dense and firm. Oh, oh there is a little bit of ice there, so... Um, that could have been just the freezer at the grocery store. Yeah, it's okay. It's fine grocers or whatever it's called. I'm so sorry. I don't want to ruin your table. <laughs> You're not ruining my table. All right. Now we're, oh wait, I'm gonna scoop it first. Let's see how it scoops in. Oh my God, it's firm. Okay, hold on. But that's good, that means it's high quality and dense. Is that what that means? Well, that's how I interpret it. We will see if it is when we eat it. All right, I will wait to eat my oh. bite so we can eat, right? That is hard. Intense. All right, we're eating it. Mmm, oh. It's different. That bourbon. Mm. It's good. Mm. It's good. Wow. I like that. I like how I actually a good vanilla, they did bring the cake back. Cause sometimes, you know, like fancy flavor ice creams are good, but a good vanilla it shows its quality. Also vanilla's getting more expensive because I think like the forests are endangered or something. That's maybe not real. <laughs> I should probably fact check that. <laughs> hmm. What are your thoughts on this? I'm Steve's no bourbon ice cream. I actually don't like the taste of bourbon. Oh. Or like any type of, that type of alcohol. But like, I really like rum raisin ice cream. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, I feel the same way about this. Or I wouldn't drink bourbon in real life, but I actually really like this. Okay. I'm sorry I did not know your feelings about bourbon before this. Oh, no. I also do not, I don't really drink, but I do like boozy ice cream. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is good. I like it. Oh, wow. My senses are truly stimulated. <laughs> wow. I like a good dense ice cream. Mm -hmm. This is good. This is really good. Wow. I mean, grass grazed milk. Mm hmm. I mean, it just means like the cows ate what they're like actually made to eat instead of just like feed. green feed fed. Mm hmm Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm That's good. And yeah, the icy part's not like... I guess because it's so dense, there's no room. It's like, freezer burn, you can't get... You can't sit with us um, because, like, our dare... Like, we're tightly knit and delicious. But it's, like, hard, but it's, like, not ice. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like those big health ice creams, which, you know, mm -hmm. which you have to thaw because... They just, they don't have that good, good fat to keep it nice and soft. Mmm. What, Halo Top? Yeah. The enemy. Da down with Halo Top. I've given it so many chances in life. Ooh, what flavor have you had? I've had the vanilla cake, which was a mistake. Or was it just Oh, that vanilla? rhymes. You're so poetic. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've tried the red velvet, also a mistake. I also tried a cake flavor. The lemon cake. Not so well missed it. <laughs> it was so bad. Like, my sister and I bought it from Whole Foods and we were sitting there in, like, the cafeteria section eating it. And then we were just, and she was like, I don't like this. Yeah. And we ended up throwing it away because it was just so gross. Right. But we didn't finish it, right? We didn't finish it. I didn't finish it either. And I am, like, a finish my food kind of lady. 
But there's some things, like, I'm like, I have self-respect, and eating like I could that. not eat it. It was yeah. frozen protein shake. That's what it was. Yeah, basically. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is so good. It was pretty good. I'm very happy. Would you say this... Well, how many vanilla ice creams have you had in your life? Probably a lot. How would you make this? Mm. I don't know. I feel like the Briars vanilla with, like, the vanilla bean pieces is kind of, like, a classic. Yeah. And at a accessible price point. Mm-hmm. So this was like $7. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, hashtag no regrets, not even one letter. But, yeah. I mean, would I get this every time I want vanilla? No. No. But, like, do I feel regretful of getting this versus the Blackberry crum- Crumble version? I feel like that would have been pretty good. That would have also been good. But that's like an also. Like, this is an inclusive ice cream situation. Mm, that's good. What is a video happening right now? If you don't want to be in it. I'm like on airplane mode. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's message failed to send. Oh. Oh. That's yeah. Okay. okay. Well, I think we can probably end this video. Do you have any final thoughts, Christian? I'm into this. Steve's making me yeah. proud to be from Texas. I know. I wonder if they have tours of their facilities, which include... Oh. I don't know. I just, I'm wondering. And then you can, like, eat ice cream at the end. I'm Are you looking it up, up now? Mm-hmm. We're fact-checking this. What is the other thing that we should fact-check? Um, if vanilla is going, is disappearing because of the fires. Oh, well, I didn't say that, but good. I just know it's very expensive right now. And maybe that has to do with the trade war, which benefits nobody. Meaningful stare into the camera. <laughs> the political ice cream consumption time let's see oh cold brew cinnamon coffee oh that's kind of like a um well, i mean i don't like that that's the thing it's kind of like a mexican-ish coffee experience i feel um they have an instagram they have an instagram oh they're followed by like a dog rescue group that i are they a texas-based dog rescue they might be mm. interesting Hmm. We are looking at their Instagram right now. Oh, they opened... Oh, maybe it's like a store. Oh, like they started as a store? Yeah. Started out with a store. How did it end up like more? Uh, you know, just the... What song is that? Da, 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 da. Oh, Mr. Brightside. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. I'm gonna go... This is a music channel now. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Ta ha! This is such a random website. Well, they have a sweet tooth hotel. Oh, it's a pop up. Oh, oh, it's over. No, oh, it's over. Oh, they like partner with like local old artists. Support your local artists. Support artists. Sicilian chocolate cannoli. Ooh, that seems interesting. I wonder what the texture experience of that is. Hmm. Well, keep an eye out for Steve's ice cream at your local grocery chain. I mean, if it was at this random one in Harlem. Yeah. It's gotta be everywhere. Yeah. Um, Interesting. At, what, how, did, how do you, you might say, at fine food purveyors everywhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, that's the end of this video. <laughs> fine food purveyors. <laughs>